Yo, it's CarQ here. Venture has a three-day free trial right now if you log in and play from Thursday, March 28th till Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. Venture comes to the game on April 16th when Season 10 begins, but this weekend trial is basically a giant stress test to tune their numbers with buffs or nerfs before the official release. The numbers in this ability breakdown video may change by then, but it should still give you a nice head start. Let's start with Venture's primary fire, the Smart Excavator. Venture fires seismic charges that burst after traveling 15 meters to the target with 8 ammo. Think of it like Sigma, where you have to shoot the enemy at the sweet spot distance. This deals 80 damage if hit directly and what looks like 10 splash damage at minimum. I was unable to get that exact minimum splash damage number. The closest minimum I got was around 12 or 13 with some decimal places. And honestly, I looked at 12 and 13 and I thought that was a weird number for the devs to put in. So the range is likely 10 to 80. It looks like the splash damage range is about 4 meters as you can see from the ping distance. I can tag the hog with a tiny bit of damage at the 19 meter distance mark. The reload speed seems quite standard as it takes one and a half seconds. Venture has two passives. The first one is called Clobber, which is just an amplified quick melee. It does 70 damage, but the animation is much longer compared to other melees from different heroes. The bulk of the damage comes from that initial 40 damage and then 30 extra damage over time. That means if you start the melee and swipe over to the target afterwards, you're only going to deal that smaller bit of damage over time at the end. Sideswiping the melee attack is quite punishing as it locks you in the animation and you deal pitiful damage compared to other heroes who can quickly swipe over. The next passive is called Explorer's Resolve, where activating any ability grants you instant shield health. This does not include that clobber melee attack. Think of it like Doomfist, but not really. Like, you get the instant shield health the moment you press your buttons compared to Doom where you actually have to hit your target, but in general, constantly using your abilities means a higher average HP across team fights. It looks like you gain 40 shield HP per regular ability, so Burrow, 40 HP, and Drill Dash, 40 HP with a maximum cap of 75 bonus shield HP above the 250 HP, so at 325 is your cap if you use both abilities in quick succession. If you use your ultimate ability, you gain the instant max 75 shield HP instead, which is a lot more than the 40 individual HP per ability. That HP does not refresh with each tectonic shock, it's just that initial activation. It also takes about 3 seconds before the HP starts rapidly decaying. Since we're always using our abilities for that extra HP, let's get to the first real ability, Burrow. As you can guess, Venture moves underneath the ground environment and becomes invulnerable, like legit invulnerable. Like you cannot be earth shattered by Rhine or Graviton surged by Zarya, you get the point. As you're burrowed, you cannot travel from low to high ground, but there's a little bit of leeway, as you can see. You can, however, travel from high to low ground, but every time you do that, you will be exposed briefly, and that's a temporary moment where you can get shot or CC'd out of it. If you unburrow over a target, you will deal 55 damage, which scales down to about 40 damage at minimum if you're at like the maximum range. You can also choose to charge up the unburrow a little longer to double that damage at max charge. So you can see, instead of dealing 55 damage, we're dealing 110. This ability has an 8 second cooldown. Alright, for the fun stuff, here are some bonus interactions and mythbusters. For Mei, you can't burrow underneath her wall or pass through it. You can, however, burrow while standing on top of the wall. You can burrow on top of a Life Weaver pedal platform. Looks a little silly, I know. You can also burrow and pass through deployables like Torbjorn's turret. Remember to leave your Venture myths in the comments and I'll be sure to test them all out for you in another video. Alright, Venture's next ability is called Drill Dash. Drill Dash allows Venture to dash forward and knocks enemies up and back. What's interesting is that you can dash in any direction, even in the sky. It all depends on what direction you are facing. Now you can also combo this with Burrow and dash underground for some quick movement. If you happen to collide with an enemy, they do get knocked up, but it does a measly 5 damage only. Drill Dash itself does about 100 damage, and it looks like a minimum of 60 damage if you catch them on the tail end of it. When you combine a full charge unburrow with the Drill Dash, you can go really really high. So much so you can contest a Widowmaker if you really want to. Finally, we have Venture's Ultimate, the Tectonic Shock. 
When you press your alt, Venture gains four shots of an AoE shockwave that deals 130 damage and it knocks enemies upwards. It can be blocked by shields, so think of it like a mini Ryan Earth Shatter, but with a knock up instead of a knock down. Plus, it deals more damage and it has four charges, so honestly, it just feels like a better ability. Tectonic Shock will still fire off in the relative direction you're facing, so if you're kind of looking at the sky, it'll still shoot on the ground. It won't shoot into the sky. Anyways, that's the quick rundown of Venture. Enjoy the three-day trial and leave some feedback in the comments and other Venture myths you want me to test. Till next time.